hi Pisces it's L here to do your uh, mid month reading December 2018 mid month reading I'm sorry that they're a bit late but it's coming out on December 15th so mid month right okay so we got five cards here let's see what is going on for Pisces the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck could talk about you trying to create something you're at the creation level and, and of course we all want to grow it we want to definitely grow it to Emperor status before the stability of the foundation of right now you're just in the midst of you're the in the doing and the legwork of whatever that may be okay so we have wow the high priestess the ten of wands the page of cups the emperor wow seven of cups So Pisces is at a place where they have a secret. Now the secret can be a completely a complete person, you know, a whole person. You're hiding the secret of a of a you know, another person or you could be the secret Pisces. Pisces, you could be at a place of intuitively knowing that you need to make a decision about moving forward, laying down burden, actually moving for some of you, a physical move, um, a telling of, of, of a truth, and giving an apology to. It's like truth and apology here. This could be you, Pisces. This could be someone doing this to you, for you, whatever. Um, this could be Pisces dealing with an Aries, a fire sign, a Taurus. An older gentleman maybe owns their own business. Or is just in, in a really high uh, level of business, of prestige. Or Pisces, this is a Piscean man. You're definitely um, older than maybe your counterpart. Vice versa. There's also a Piscean person who needs to be firm, be strict and stern in what they want. You have choices now, but these choices are fleeting. This is about this is about control, gaining control over your emotions. Choose wisely what or who you want because you might be at the eight of cups. Next, wanting to walk away and abandon and abandon a position that you, you chose essentially. Um or you can jump past eight and go to nine and be completely or yeah completely fulfilled uh, or just happy and content with so definitely we all want to jump over eight and go to nine uh, but this is about Pisces some feel like they're making a choice in the dark this also could be Pisces dealing with um, a, a cheating spouse Someone who makes promises just to break them. If not a spouse, this is just a partner who is um, keeping options open, is cheating, has many things or many people to uh, choose from. There's so many different elements here for so many different Piscean per people. With some of you, um, it's the burden of having a secret person. You may lay down the burden by telling a truth and apologizing for it. For some of you, it's 
um, needing to just get in control of who or what you want. Some of you, it's the, the adverse. Maybe an Aquarius person, another Piscean person wants to lay down this situation with you. It's become way too taxing and way too heavy to carry. Um, they're giving you loving messages of what they want and who they want to be in your life. And I don't think Pisces has taken to it. Pisces is at a place of making a choice in regards to a husband figure or a long standing relationship with someone or an older older gentleman more distinguished person This is a Piscean person, maybe who always, who was in relationship, in marriage, who who had the thought of having someone on the side, maybe the entire relationship, and then it finally manifests for them. Um, you know that person in the shadows, and now they're feeling like it's becoming too much to bear. There is no more growth in this situation, so we have to lay it down uh, and revert back to the Ace of Wands, whether that's with you, Pisces, or someone else is feeling that way. About maybe going in a new direction away from you, or vice versa, this is how you feel. Some of you just want to be abundant and free. But there is a, a strong connection of the Empress and the Emperor. Very spiritual connection. Very intuitive. This is a person who plays the part who never... This is a secret person. This person hasn't made noise in the terms of your existing relation, your existing relationship, Pisces, or vice versa. If you're the secret person, you haven't really, you know, outed this person or wanted to put this person in a place where they were compromised the relationship. You knew or you know exactly what it is and you allow yourself to um, rest in that. But somebody is wanting more. I don't know if Pisces wants that right away or not at all. A career or finance if you are a business owner. If you are over a large corporation, over several different people, entities or whatever, you have choices here that you need to make on a daily. Sometimes they can put you in a mind funk, an emotional funk. Some of you, there's a... You need to actually move. There's a physical move, and someone's going to help you do that. Okay. I'm going to pull three cards, and then we're going to finish up over at the website. Pisces, this looks like, once again, you have the upper hand in whatever situation you're in. Um, you can turn it around if that's what you need to do. Or you can you can definitely have what you want. 
no real no bad cards you know just very um it's just it's just cool yeah okay Yeah, Pisces, you might be like in a third party situation where you had somebody in something with you. Either they, they walked away from you, they, you want reconciliation, or they do. Um, it looks like it's coming up as your energy, though. Uh, yeah, once again, the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Clubs, the sex, sexy, uh, sultry. Um, seductress beautiful intuitive maybe even funny smart charismatic outgoing she's magical magical in a, in a way of doing like she or he knows how to dress knows how to wear or what to wear knows you know how to paint their face and how to this is just a person with a magical flair if you will um it looks like a woman nothing but womanly energy here i'm speaking to some of my piscean women who are a third party uh or some of my piscean men who have a third party this is how you look at this woman you know she's just the bee's knees i don't know she is um definitely beautiful abundant uh, radiant maybe a mother can be a bit older definitely wisdom rest with her intuitive empathic almost okay yeah then the seven of clubs here definitely about standing your ground Pisces creating boundaries someone's done this with you or you need to do this to someone your psychic abilities are being heightened toward the opposite sex you're gonna have prosperity and abundance here because your intuitive nature you know what's good and what's bad for you Definitely some of you are moving. Change of journey. Change of home. Restlessness. Discontentment. For you or someone else. Where they are. In their foundation. To force. Somebody's restless and discontent. Bored. Uh, not satisfied. Ungrateful. This may be you, Pisces, not seeing that. You have a lot. Just go and talk to people. Don't be afraid. People out of your social, uh, you know, economical dynamic. People you will never talk. Go sit in a Starbucks. Talk to people. Um, join a group. A meetup group. Talk to people. Um, every single time I feel ungrateful, I just go talk to people. Just get out in the world and know people. And you hear so much stuff. Or you read so much stuff. Get on the internet. I mean, whatever. Y you have to know that, oh, it can be worse. Um, you think you're at the bottom. No. Could be much worse so anyhow um pisces we're gonna open this up at my website to see what it is you you really need to work on will you ever come out of being maybe the third party or will you ever stop having someone else as the third party you know, i don't know will you make this move um you can do this. The sevens talk of, uh, are about the chariot. The chariot gets in control of of life's, you know, pros and cons. You know, you get to throw those out all day, and then you never do anything. 
But the chariot talks about, okay, yeah, I've got a list of everything that can go bad. I've got a list of everything that can go very good for me. I'm going to marry those two. I'm going to get in control of this situation and just move forward how I know what is best for me. In inner knowing, what, uh, high priestess is what's best for me. And I'm just going to have victory over stagnation. Sometimes the chariot is just victory over stagnation. Do something. You know? Do something. Some of you intuitively know you need to make a decision to lay down a fight, a burden. Um, accept messages of an offer or at least examine them. Then some older man gives you more offers. Choose wisely. Okay. Thank you, Pisces, for always tuning in. Um... Happy holidays. Uh, take advantage of getting a personal reading. Uh, $10 off any reading, $35 or more. You book a reading at my website. Go to website. Go to website. If you send me an email and ask me how do I book a reading, I will say go to the website. Uh, so you beat me to it. Just go to the website, right? Um, anyhow, wishing you the best, Pisces. Not a bad reading. No bad cards. This is just about Pisces needing to get in control. As we all do at the end of the year. Trying to focus and harness all type of energy. Um, Pisces, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. Until next time.